What's up, people? Q&A time. So I get a lot of questions from you guys. I get them on Instagram. I get them on my YouTube comments. I get them on Discord. So now in this video, which is part one of my q and I'm going to be answering questions on how you get into game development. There are three basic questions that I'm going to be answering here. One has to do with if you are doing your engineering, if you're doing BTEC, if you're doing your CSE. Next, what if you're in school? Maybe you're in class 11, class 12, and you want to get into the game industry. You want to know what path to choose. And lastly, people are asking for game colleges. People are asking for game courses. Rahul, what game should I choose? So I'm going to be answering all these questions in this video. So let's go. My name is Rahul Seigel. I'm the founder of Game to Maker. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already and hit that notification icon. Also make sure you're on the Game to Maker Discord server. It's a great place for people who want to learn how to make video games. Also make sure you're following me on Instagram. That's where I post every single day. That's where you will get the latest tips and hacks on game careers, game design, game development. Now let's go. So the first question I get from a lot of you is I'm doing second, third year of BTEC or CSE, basically engineering, and I want to become a game developer. What should I do? And my answer is firstly, you have to make sure that you understand what you want to do. Now within game development, there is game design, there is game programming and there is game art. Then it's actually game testing as well. And you need to actually decide what kind of role you want. A lot of people I know who are in engineering colleges, I teach at VIT many times and more than half the people who are in the engineering courses, they don't want to be programmers. They want to be designers. They want to be artists. They want to be writers. They want to make videos. They want to make sound. And that's absolutely fine. So you don't have to be a programmer. You can totally be a game programmer. You don't have to be a game programmer. There are other roles also. You should ideally have some idea of what kind of role you want to choose. Now, if you don't know whether you want to be a programmer, designer, artist, whatever, that's absolutely fine. And my answer to you, if you're studying in college is start making games, right? The first mantra of Gamer to Maker is that the only way to learn how to make video games is to actually make them. So while you're at college, I would say start making games, download Unity, download Game Maker. Even if you don't know how to code, you can download an engine such as Godot or, or Game Maker, which doesn't require coding and start working on games. Start building something small, do something that you can do in a couple of months. You can, you know, obviously there are lots of tutorials online that you can use uh, to start building games. And once you started, understood the fundamentals of making games, the next thing I would recommend is doing a group project right now. Ultimately, remember that once you graduate from college or whatever, ideally you should have a portfolio. What exactly is a portfolio? Well, you can see that in this video right here. Now, a portfolio is super important. Remember that the game industry does not give you jobs on the basis of your degree. You know, just because you've, you know, graduated and you, you know, you could even do a degree in game development. It still doesn't mean you're going to get a job. You have to actually do the work. You have to actually make games and you have to show people you know how to make games. So this is done through a portfolio. Now in your portfolio, you need to have games and not only do you need to have games, you need to demonstrate what you know. You need to explain to people what you know about the process of video games through your portfolio. Now, a portfolio ideally should not have just small solo games. So when you're going to start, you're obviously going to start learning from the internet. You're going to make some couple of small games. You're going to make a flappy bird. You're going to buy a small course on Udemy or whatever. And you're going to make a couple of small three, four, five small games, and you're going to put them in your portfolio, but that's not going to get you a job because because there's so many people watching the same YouTube videos and making the same flappy birds. The problem is that 
just because you copy something from a tutorial, it doesn't mean you know how to do it independently. To build a good portfolio, to have a good chance, you're going to have to build some games with some complexity, with some polish, with some new things that haven't been tried before. And ideally, they should be in a group. Now, game companies don't really want people who have just worked on solo projects because it doesn't show that you know how to make games with people. In game companies, you're not going to be working alone. You're going to be working with people. You're going to be working with 5, 10, 15, 20 people, whatever, depending on the size of the studio. If you're a programmer, you'll be working with designers, artists, testers, producers, etc. And that's a very particular thing you need to learn. So you got to have a group project in your portfolio, right? Um, now, the next question is, how do I find this group? Now, that's not easy to do. Um, you know, in your college, you could have other people who have who are interested in video games and you could team up with them. But then once again, the problem there is that people generally don't know how to scope projects. They make try and make projects which are way too big. You know, they try and make these grand games and then they don't succeed. So ideally, you should be making a project which is three to six months now. Uh, a lot of people have this problem not being able to find teammates, you know, and not getting guidance as to what kind of game to make, how to do project management, how to do pre-production. That stuff is really important. So if you want, you can check out Gamer to Maker. In Gamer to Maker, we actually have people making games in groups. They join the program. They understand the fundamentals of game design, game art programming. It's a 100% online course. And I actually mentor everyone to kind of get together and make games. So definitely check out the Gamer to make a courses the link is in description all right question number two and that is school lots of people ask me rahul i'm in school i'm in class 10th 11th 12th and i want to join game development i want to make a career in video game industry how do i do that so to, if you're in school the first thing i'm going to say is well you got to finish school but while you're in school, start making video games. Download Unity, download Unreal, start messing around with it, start to understand the tools, maybe watch some tutorials and make a few small games by yourself by looking at YouTube tutorials so that you have a basic understanding of the tools. You understand how Unity works. And then I would recommend after you have graduated from school, when you get into college, that's when you need to get serious about game development. Now, a lot of people ask me, do I need to go to college? And my answer is yes, because remember that to join the game industry, you don't need to show a degree in game development. But especially in India, many, many companies don't hire freshers who are not graduates. So it doesn't matter if your degree is like BCom, you know, or humanities or arts or science or whatever, that's fine. You need to have a degree, right? So if you want a job after school, I would say join a college. It doesn't have to be a game college, right? I'm going to be talking about game colleges uh, right after this, but you don't have to join a game college. You know, you can join a regular course. If you're a designer, you can join like a bachelor of design course or bachelor of architecture course or something like that. Or you can even do commerce. Like It doesn't matter. Um, if you want to be a programmer, you can do CSE. You can do BTEC. If you're an artist, I really strongly recommend that you do a bachelor of fine art, which will teach you the basics of uh, of art. So do a graduation, try and do a graduation either in design or programming or technical fields or art, which is close to what you want to achieve. Now, if you don't know what you want to do, if you don't know if you want to be a designer, artist, programmer, that's absolutely fine. You can just do a BTEC or you can do computer science engineering. And remember that you always need to know how to make video games, right? You're not going to get a job on the basis of your degree. You have to know how to make games. And not only do you know how to make games, you have to know how to make a game in a group. You have to have a strong portfolio. A portfolio is what is going to get you a job. If you don't know about portfolios, watch this video. It will take you all about what a good portfolio looks like, right? And lastly, I have a lot of people in Game to Maker who are actually in school. I have students in class 11th and 12th who are a part of the game design program. And when what's going to happen is that once they graduate from Game to Maker, as they get into college, they already have experience of making video games. So do check out Game to Maker programs. And if you're in school, get on track so that 
right after you graduated from college, you can get a job and you can join the game industry. Let's go. All right. Lastly, question number three, and that is, can you recommend a good college for game design and development in India? I've answered this so many times, but I'm going to do it once again. Guys, there is no good college for game design and development in India, especially when it comes to graduation, when it comes to bachelors. Now, there are a lot of courses in India. Uh, in this field, there are a lot of people offering these courses, but if you compare them to abroad, if you compare them to the US, now I went to Vancouver Film School and I know what a good game course looks like. And the truth is that there are no good game design and development colleges in India. Now, there are lots of people offering these courses, but they are not really very, very different from your normal CSE. The problem are firstly there is no game project right remember that the only way to learn how to make video game is to actually make them so if you're going to be part of a college if you're going to be part of a course there has to be a compulsory integrated game project in which people in the batch they get together they come up with a game idea from beginning to end they make a game and they release a game now this is something which doesn't exist in india because it's very difficult to find someone to mentor these programs so that's the first problem there is no integrated game project the second problem is industry mentors game colleges in india don't have people from the game industry teaching they have people from the software industry or they have people who are very very junior who barely work in the game industry teaching you guys how to make video games now abroad in the us and canada what happens is that game college just actually invite people from the industry to mentor people right now it's very very important that you learn game development from people who are in the game industry because it's going to be practical you know you'll actually learn the processes you learn the methodology you learn the mindset of making games only from people within the gaming industry and game colleges in India just don't have that. Lastly, the problem is that there is no career guidance, there is no support, there is no mentoring as to how you're going to create your LinkedIn, how you're going to create your resume and get your network together to actually get a job in the game industry. That is a very, very important part. Now, if you're looking for a game college, you can just do your regular graduation. You can do your graduation in as a B.Tech or, uh, or, or in Bachelor of Architecture or Bachelor of Design or maybe Bachelor of Fine Arts, depending on what role you want to choose. And side by side, you can join a gamer to make a course in either one of these fields. It's designed for people who are working full time, studying full time. And by the time you graduate, you're actually going to know how to make video games. You're going to have your own game, your polished portfolio and you're actually going to be mentored by people from the game industry by seniors by veterans from the game industry and you're also going to receive career guidance so once again guys very very frankly there is no good college for game development in india if you have the money to go abroad that's different but if you don't and if you want to study in india that's the truth. So thank you so much, guys, for this video. I encourage you to send me your questions. So make sure you find me on Instagram, you know, comment on this video, send me a message on Instagram or even on the Discord server, the link in description. So keep those questions making. I'm going to keep making these videos to answer your questions. I'll see you around. Let's go.